for today, I'm going to be heading south, back past Porto Marinada here, and we're going, if this Murkrow will leave me alone, to the desert so that we can take on the Earth Titan, or the Ground Titan, which is just over this way, Quaking Earth. Like I mentioned last time, I did trigger the phone call for this accidentally, but it wasn't anything particularly interesting, didn't really add to anything. So, it's not that big of a deal that we missed it. Um, what was that? Was that the Titan? It looked kind of like a, a rolling tank or something. Yeah, there it is. What is that? It, it looks almost like a, a mix between a Durant and a Donphan? Well, it's caused an earthquake, I guess. Okay, so it's like a metallic Don fan. We're getting a phone call. Professor Toro. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. Do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution. Okay, I'm going to hope that it's weak to grass, being the Ground Titan. Iron Head. That hurt. Okay, that is not super effective. Which means that failing our source buck from being able to take this thing out, I can switch into Pormo. So I think I might Mega Horn here just for damage. Yeah, I didn't think we'd get an attack off. That's fine. I needed the free switch into Pormo with full health. Alright then. If you are Steel, then close combat should do a ton of damage to you. There we go. Basically a one-shot. That's what I was looking for. And off it treads. Oh, all the way over there. Okay, let's heal up Soulsbuck. Oh, I can't auto heal I have to use a revive. That's a pen. But auto heal uses basic potions first, which I do quite like. Because I pick up so many of them just running around that there's basically no point in holding onto them, except for to just use auto heal. So then that saves my other healing items for actually in battle. Anyway, let's see what you've got. I can see the breakable wall behind you where the cave is. Now, is it going after the Herb of Mystica already? Titan Iron Treads began eating something. Looks like you found yourself a Titan. That's the Quaking Earth Titan? Is it even a Pokemon? There is a Scavillain on Arvin's side. I'm just wondering if close combat will just take it out straight away. Also, that Scavillain? Incredibly interesting. Looks like something out of, like, Super Mario. Use the Scavillain I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. And close combat is almost half. But that drops defense and special defense. Stomping Tantrum. Oh, that's gonna really hurt. It hit the Scavillain though, thankfully. So Scary Face drops its speed harshly. Close combat plus Scavillain attacking should finish it off then. We are minus two on both defenses though, so if it attacks Pormod, then it might be a bit of a problem. Thankfully though, that Scavillain just finished it off. Well, that was a surprisingly easy Titan battle. I can only assume something's going to happen afterwards. Nice going. What even was that thing, though? Maybe I've seen it before somewhere. I feel like it's the thing that was photographed in your book, right? I thought it looked like a Don fan. We'll find more of that Herba Mystica. Okay, in the cave we go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. 
because, you know, talking to plants actually makes them move and respond to you. And there it is in the back of the cave, as usual. Which one is this, then? We found it. The sour one. The shape, the sheen, looks like it'll taste horrible. What does our book have to say? Sour Herbamistica, chalk flood nutrients, and great for boosting your overall health. Works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Alright, let's get some food going. I am actually quite hungry, I could go for a sandwich. A super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. And a titan batch. Okay, that sandwich looks absolutely revolting. I suddenly don't feel very hungry anymore. Okay, where's the subway fiend? There we go, right on cue. Yep, here you go, take it. Learn a new power. Oh, and Mappa stuffs out straight away. Still very unwell. I still think there's going to be some kind of mix-up where it's going to become a titan and get really injured even more when we have to take it out. Would you look at that? Seems someone's got a proper appetite now. Not as bad as Maridon. Okay, what power did you get this time? We'll be able to glide. Oh, finally we can fly. Seems like that fella's also slowly regaining its original strength. Doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block. Yeah, what do you mean about that? Read about it in books. A mental scar, like psychological trauma. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle. Hmm, okay. Let's see how Mamba Steph's doing, though. It's making noises. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some kind of huge effect. And not like the effect has to be immediate, either. It's okay, don't worry. Gonna make sure your writers ran. One more herb to go. Alright, next stop should be the last. Can't lose steam until we're done. Yeah, there is only one more titan around. Though I am kind of expecting something to happen with Tura, based on that weird, futuristic looking Pokemon. Because it looked like Moridon. Well, here's our phone call. It will be from the Professor, I imagine. Yes, it is, it's Tura. Maridon has regained more of its original power. After it jumped in the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Ah, oh, wonderful. Press it once more, we'll stop gliding and start falling. You must continue helping Maridon recover. And is that it? There's not actually anything further. Nothing to say about that weird Pokemon? Let's try this out then, so we can jump and glide. Okay, so we can't actually fly, but we can jump off stuff and get pretty far. So, let me think of somewhere I could go, somewhere that I could jump off of something. Well, there's a wreck handy, and this is a decently high spot. So I was just down there, right above my head, that's where the desert is. Let's see just how close I can get by just gliding off here. If I click the stick, it doesn't actually give me a boost. Okay, the glide is kind of odd looking, and eventually it does just make me fall straight down. Okay, so you can't glide forever. It doesn't let you go very far at all. It's kind of a shame, but at least I do have another high ledge to jump off of here. Alright, let's take a glide off of here. Let's aim for that watchtower over there then, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure they show up as fast travel targets eventually. And we are already falling out of the sky. 
and I just missed that cliff. That's really upsetting. If I was even like a meter further forwards, I would have gone straight up that. Well, anyway, next up should be the Psychic Gym Leader down here. What's this place called? Alphanada. Well, here we are, and getting here was one hell of an ordeal. So, I did originally start down here at Los Platos, hoping I could just sort of go around this way. Turns out that this is incredibly high and you can't get over it. Which is kind of annoying. So then I went up to Cortondo, tried to go south. Turns out this is also incredibly high and you can't get over it. So I had to go around to the Windmills, go south, and there's like a cave pass through here you have to scale to be able to actually get to Alphanada. And it looks like it's set up down there so you can't actually get through it without getting the jump boost for Maridon. So there is actually a soft requirement on being able to get up here. So you have to do some titans before you can finish the gym. But anyway, we'll heal up and we'll take on the gym tomorrow. <laughs>